So, okay, this is the lesson for today. We're going to be talking about the page object and also the Selenium, how to find elements today. So, um, if you are, yeah, you might not be able to touch on page object for how to find elements basically using different media or different in terms of using ID, class, and everything. So, for we had issue, and that we want to resolve, which is why is uh, all these browser open, and we want to try to close it. And as I said I will show you a quick, lazy approach this week. For next week, we're going to tidy up and put it in our uh, book, which is either before or after scenario. So basically, it's going to be in your after scenario. So for today, because we already know how the feature file works, I'm going to put that in the feature in the uh, in the step right now. So then we're going to create a step definition for for this, and we'll we'll close the browser at that particular. Step. Okay. So now let's generate the step definition for this. Okay, so now, so this is what we need to do. So this is what we've done, right? We have driver dot get, and that is opening new browser every time because this is where we are doing that. Yeah creating new instance of the browser every time. So well, we're going to study this up also so that it doesn't do that every time. So boy, just a quick way to, to teach you guys to see how this works. So now, because you open it in your giving clause, in your giving clause, then you should close it also in the then close. Then I close my browser. How do I close my browser? So you need to call driver. We just say driver dot close. Okay, this is one of the issues that you're going to find. I'm calling driver here, but it's not found. Why? Because in here, I'm initializing or instantiating my driver inside this method, and because I am doing that, it's not visible out of this method. So what I needed to do is to move this out of this method. So, and I can now instantiate it at the top of my class. So I can say this. I can do something like this, bring this one out, then do that. So I declare my driver out so that it's kind of global in this particular class. Once it's out of the class, any method in this particular class can use it. So if you come here now, you can see it's out. So what I will now do is to not double declare it. So because I'm doing that right now, so I just need to remove the So step by step, we're going to be refining this particular method. Like I told you guys, I said don't run away, right? It's going to be better later. So what you're going to find later is kind of a very good framework that you can use. But I didn't want to just start the framework and give you everything like that. So it's going to be step by step. I will tell you why we are doing this. And also, in some cases, might be some fundamentals of Java that you need to learn. So, which is one of those that I'm telling you right now. So, but I will not go into detail on on Java or what, how you need to write your code, but, but what you need to write your automation framework, I will cover them right now so that we don't need to go into Java in great detail and some people run away. So, but like I said, 
the first thing we did was we wanted to close all the browser. So then we declare driver dot close. There's also I think driver dot quit. Yeah, I think yeah. So so assignment so that you need to send into the group is what is the difference between driver dot close and driver dot quit? So maybe we should get that out in like an assignment to see what is the difference, why do you need to use it, and when do you need to use close, and when do you need to use quit. So, so I'll, if you can send that into the group by tomorrow, so let's see. So okay, now, so what happens here is like, when this is declaring another instance of the iWeb driver, this particular step is going to be closing it. So that means that I'm not going to be having all this every time. So this is how many instances? One, two, seven instances. So what's going to happen is I can now replicate this. I told you this is not the right approach to do it, but just to see so that you know how this works. So I can, every time I open, I can close it. Okay, so let's So before I continue, I'll just quickly say that again. Now, two things that we've known, if you don't know anything in this class, two things. You know how to open your browser, so, and which is what we've done. And from giving a navigate to that particular class, so, how to open your browser, that is that you create an instance of that I will, um, instance of the Firefox driver and you navigate the way you are going to. Before you can do that also, you need to set your properties for the Gecko driver. So that is if you are using Firefox. Also, you can use Chrome driver. We will also talk about next week. So then that is that. So, one minute. Okay, so now that is how to navigate. The first thing, you open your browser and then you close it. You know, you close it by doing this. So let's see what that is called. Okay. I don't know why it's that is giving me a message for me. Okay, let's run the test for me.
So I'm expecting that to close immediately after that has finished. Okay. Can you see that that's closed? And under instance is opened again. Okay, uh, there seems to be an error message. You will look at what that is. I think is because it's a close. Okay. So Okay. Let's see some issues with this anyway. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now you can see how that was done. So to close and to open. So, but I think if I remember quite well, you don't, you don't need to, you don't need one of them anyway. So, so that's a question for you to see how which one is is that one. Okay. All right. Let's continue. So the next one I said we're going to use is how to find our element. One thing. We said, yeah, right now, starting from beginning, is I want to. Okay, all right. I'll shout a bit. So, so. Given I navigate to that, we've done we've done that. So then the next one is when I click on login. So if I go to the step definition, so okay, when I click on login, so how do I click on login? So that's what we want to we want to do right now. So let's go to the site, um, which is dev. Dot. So where and we check where is the login button. So can you hear me now, Josephine? Okay. So this is the login button. We want to see if you can click on that. So what you need to do is okay. First in first. Let me then come. Okay, so um, okay, so this is the login 
button or link that we want to click on. So what you need to do is right click and inspect. That's what you do. If you're using Firefox, is I think it's the same thing. If you're using Chrome, also you see inspect or inspect element uh, or Internet Explorer. I think you, you will see that. So or you press F to F, I think, if I remember. So you press F to F, that should bring developers tools for you. So uh, to bring developers to this is oh this is not even F to F in in Mac. Right, well, that's what you are looking for. Yeah. So and one thing you need to be careful is that is now changed to the response. What's it called? Uh, yeah, the response one actually the mobile version. So, but what you need to do is send that. So you want the web version to be displayed. So then your login has appeared. So, and you click on this and you click on login. That takes you to where the login element is on the DOM or on your website, just to say it in a layman's language. So I said, what you, you need to do, first thing, when you go to your site, you can right click on that element that you want to inspect, and you can say inspect element. That takes you directly to where you're going to. Or you could, go to developers to and use this. You can use this particular button and you drag it. You click on it and you go and you click on that button and you go to that element that you want to inspect. When you click on that element, it takes you to where that is going to. So I've told you two methods. So one, Right click, let's say I am not here. Let's say this is where everything is. Okay, right click and say inspect. So that takes you to directly to where. So this is the element that we are looking for. When you click inside, you should see it being highlighted. For instance, if I click that, that you know, is the post ad. If I click on that, that is the registrar user. So you can see how it's been highlighted, different ones, different elements that you are open upon. So but this is what I'm looking for. So now I can right click and say copy. So I can copy as part. There are different ways to, to do this. So you can copy as part, CSS, selector, outline. So we're going to look them one after the other. The first one that I want to say is uh, yeah. So is link text. This is a link, and we can identify this particular element by the link it is uh, referring to. So it's got a login link. So you can say, oh, go to this particular web page and click on any object with a link called login or go to this particular web page and click on any element with a link named register. So that was going to go and click register for us. So that's one way. So how do you represent that in your code? Let's write that. So now what you need to do is say driver dot, so we want to find our element. Find elements, which is already a lighter for you. So find elements. Now, the set by. The next thing is that how do you want to identify that element? By. So there are different ways to identify the element. We put dot and how. Okay. So I want to identify it by link text. Link text. So that is it. Then what exactly do you want to identify? What is the string that you want to identify? I want to identify, I want to search for any element with 
link text of uh, login so it has to be as it is so with la link text login so that's what you're going to ask it to to do so so this is one way so that that's you identifying that particular element now after you identify the element what do you want to do dot click you want to click on that element Oh, okay. Sorry. So I'll come. I'll come back to this. I think this is this is another thing that is very interesting. It's not find element with s. It's not find element, but find element without without s. Uh, I'll talk about what that the one with the x. What exactly that means. So that's why we are not able to see the click. So then dot click. So you can see now. Please, my driver. That is your driver. Well, I, let's just call it our driver. Um, someone that we send an errand to go and do anything for us, uh, which we already said is a web driver. My driver, okay, please, yeah, um, go and find element for me. Okay, I'll do that. But how do I find element? Please find it by, by what? By link test. What link are we looking at? Login. Okay, cool. I've done that. Then what do I need to do after that? Please click on that link. That is the explanation of what you've just done. So first thing, Mr. Driver, yes, here I am. Okay, what do you want me to do for you? I want you to find an element for me. Which element am I going to find for you? And okay, yeah. How? I want you to find it by. By what? By link test. What element? Element with link test of login. Okay, cool. I found it. That's good. Then what do you want to do to this element? I want to click on it. So that is your story. That's what you've just done. So, and that is that. So then the next one also, it's possible that you don't want to use link text. You want to use different medium. So we're going to say, do the same thing and say, driver, Okay, yes, here I am. Find element for me. And I said it without the X. Okay, by what? Okay, but this time around, I can say, okay, go, let me go and check how this element is labeled. One, you can see this element. This is the tag. It's got a, a tag, which is a link and it's got that login. So you can see in more in some other instances you see some for instance this one right now. This one. This one has got a class. So you can also identify this particular uh, element by class because it's got class of right and left um, list group. That is a class. So you can also identify element by what else okay I'll, I just want to show a good example so let's search for one with ID Okay, so unfortunately that there's no ID on this page, really. Let's go to other page. Okay, 
All right. So let's go. Let's go and do a, another one. Let's go to BBC. Okay. Let's go to BBC. Let's say I want to click on news. All right. I right click and I say okay. Inspect element and it brought that for me this also hasn't got an id let's see which other one has got an id let's see if it's got id yeah right, that's bad oh sorry i think maybe i'm at least okay i think i was checking the wrong one Okay, let's check this again. Control, click on the wrong Control F. So it's yeah, ID. Okay. This is a good example. This one. Oh, okay, that's not. Okay, I think we'll, we'll go back to BBC. Let's see. Let's see what they've used in the inspect. That also has a ID. Let's inspect the search. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go. Let's go through this. Okay, let's use BBC. Let's go back to our code so we adjust that accordingly. Okay. Let's create a new feature file. Let's start from the beginning. I say BBC home page dot feature. So feature okay. So let's say we can this such. Okay. So we're going to be searching on BBC. So the first one is our scenario. So we do given I navigate navigate to BBC.
me just make it easy for ourselves. And I type a text in the search box. And I click on the search button and the content page is displayed. Okay, let's do that quickly. So first thing first, let's create our step definition. And we want to create a new one. So we want to create it under the step definition. to name it as um, let's say search searching on BBC. okay and it's on Java no Java 8 so that's fine click OK so that has given us that and it's on the right place to be. So then we can do the other ones. Just create all other ones and put it in there. So yeah, this we've done this last week, so I, I don't need to waste time here. So now when I click on navigation, so the same way that we did for login, I will do the same thing. So just copy that and paste it. Like I said, we're going to restructure this better next week. So, okay. So it's complaining about driver, which is what I said before. So I need my driver, which is out of the class. I need to put that also. So that should be that. So, okay, because you need to import web driver, which is okay, cool. So that is that. So, but this time around, I want to go to bbc.com. bbc, I said bbc.co.uk. Okay, cool, that's that. So one thing also that we need to do also the and so which is you want to close the page and I close the browser so so bear in mind I didn't have to write this again because it's already been mapped to previous one that I've done so then there you go so we have that already mapped out. So the next one is we've done the navigation. So we want to click on home. So let's go to the step definition. When I click on home, oh, okay. Yeah, I think that is wrong. I put that in the wrong place. So I need to cut that out. So you can see. So so that means you don't need to panic when you make mistakes. So I can see I also make mistakes now. So you just need to relax and fix it. So, and if you don't, you can fix it, talk to your team members. They should be able to help you out. And if they're not able to help you out, talk to me, then I should come to your rescue. So, okay, this is one for the navigation. So I had to cut it from the click on home. So this is one for the home button. So you want to click on home button. I said you need to say driver. Yes, Mr. Driver. So find element for me. Okay, I'll find it by. By what? By, let's go to that. Where's the home? Maybe this is my home. 
I want to click on that BBC. Just click on the BBC, right click, inspect elements. So, and that, the, the name is home page. That's the link text is there. So, because some people will say because it's got BBC, it should be BBC. But this is the text I'm talking about. So, and that's the link text. Oh, okay. That is one way to do that. So, by link text. Which text are we talking about? Home page. And after that, what do I want to do? I want to click. That's that. Okay. Another way to do this is let's quickly talk about S stuff. So so well by what? What S path. So let's see how what we're going to get from the S path. So if you go to the place again, BBC inspect that start, then right click so then you say copy so you want to copy the S path you want to copy the S path and then you put that in bracket and you paste that inside. So these and these, they mean the same thing. So I can just comment this one. It's just one way. So you can you can find your element by link text, and these are different ways to actually find it. You can find it by link text. You can find it by ID. You can find it by class. You can find it by CSS selector. So you can also find it by. So don't don't use this to to be honest. So by class class name, by CSS selector, by ID, by link text, by name, partial link text, tag, by S path, and I think that's it. So I'm going to try to cover all of them to see that okay different ways that you can you can actually find your element. So we've used link text and uh, we've tried to use S path. We're going to use S path more also, so don't worry about that. So let's go to the next one which is the next one I click on the home yeah then I want I type in a text in the search box so where is the search box you have to find it so let's go to our step definition so that is that so what you need to do now, write our code to type into that particular search. So driver, yes, Mr. Driver, please find elements for me. Which elements? I want to find elements. I want to find that search box for me. So by what? I don't know. So let's go and find it and see how we're going to find it. This is the search box, this particular one. Right click on it. So inspect it and that's it. So you can see this has got a lot of things that you can use. So one thing is got an ID. That's it. ID is equal to that. So let's try to use the ID first and then you go and um, please find it by ID. So it's ID. Okay, then what is the name of the ID? You put that inside. Then after you find it, what do you want to do? The click. What is that going to do for you? It's going to first open VBC, as you've seen here. Then also go and find inside this web page where is an element with ID of this. So for instance, if you do that, so it's going to, so, and it's going to find that, and it's going to, okay? So what's going to do, you're just going to click it, and click, that's it. But however, 
you are not only clicking because right now the only thing I've, ta I've taught you this evening is just click. Click on a link, click on the text. But however, you are not just clicking. You want to type something inside that text box. That's what you want. So then what do you do? The same way also, driver, please find this element for me, please. Find elements by the same element. That's what we want. ID. So, so okay. Let's say we we try to use ID here, and that's fine. Let's say we want to um, find this element with a different method now. Okay, let's try to use a different method. So this is ID. So which other method can we use? This ID has got. Um, you know, let's try to find this element with different. Um, method. So we've used the ID. That's the ID is equal to that. And looking at that property, boom, it's got name also. Name is equal to Q. So we can decide to use the name also just to see in the second instance. So what is it by? So this time around, I want by name. Where's the name? Okay. So, and that is that. So, what name is it? It's Q. So, then, as the first instance, I say you should click on that element. And this time around, I don't want to click. I want to type. So, how do you type? You click and you do send keys. It's like you want to send the different keys into that particular element. So, which keys do you want to send? So that means what you want to type inside. You now you put everything you want to type in a quote. So I want to type, um, let's say, what is coming on. So basically, what you are saying. I don't know why someone is laughing. You still need to believe. Okay. So exactly. So this will happen if you paste it here and that appears. So then you click on that. So if I do that again, so if I say it's yeah, that continue that coming up. So that's that. Then you press enter. We, we are now already on part of us is at home, so you know, part of the football is coming home. At least we are taking third position. So yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so so that's that's it. You just type, and then it's going to type what you put in the in this code and in that particular text box, and that's it. So then, what's the next one to do? It says, and you click on the search button. So you click on the search button. This website is a weird one, as you can see. When you start typing here, it's, see, another text box appear. So you need to be careful about that also. You need to be careful about that. Maybe this is not a very good example, to be honest, because then because this also could have its own element. Okay, it's still, it's, it's still got the same name, which is fine. So I think that's fine. But in terms of ID, I think the idea has changed if it's not this one. Yeah. The idea is different, but the yeah. So let's see what we, we find. So then after you've written it's coming home. So you want to click on this button. So what you need to do you need to inspect that button. 
So you can see this button also. It's go. Let's let's find out. So luckily for you now, you can see why you need to know different methods to find it. This has, has not got an ID, so we cannot use ID. So, so now it's got a class, so we can as well use a class. We can find this particular element. Yeah, exactly, Momon. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, so you can use the class. So for this, so so that's why you need to know. It's not there's no um, because some people say I'm looking for ID. Everything is ID. No, you, you don't just go and start looking for it. You need to inspect the property of that particular element and look at it properly and see what you can use. If there's no ID, there's no class, there's no, um, what's it called? Uh, we've used class, it's not a link text, so then what else you need to do? You need to also look at our also our CSS selector. Of course, that is another thing to use. You need to also look about uh, how to use SPath also. So, so let's use the. Okay, let's use the class now. And I click on the search button. So let's see. So that is driver dot find element. So uh, what am I finding by class name? So I'm using class name now. So um, the string that you are using. Okay, that's that. So then what are you going to do? You're going to click it. So that's it. So then after that, the content is displayed. So this is a bit, yeah, you click on that. So this page is displayed. So what do you need to do? Like you do in a normal in manual testing, just confirm that page is displayed. So how do you do? You either look at something that is so unique in this particular page to confirm that you you are there, or you look at the URL to be sure that that page is is there. So let's check. Let's use the easy way approach. The first thing, let's use the first thing. I want to confirm that I log into this particular URL. So I can now say, so this is where, because it's a then clause, you need to assert, right? You need to do assertion. So I do the assertion. Assertion is when you want to confirm something, you want to check something. So you do assert, assert true. So it's bringing this red, so which we might need to import further, assert true. Okay, so assert true. I think we'll, just to not confuse you, I'm going to remove this later, then in the, in the import. For assert dot assert true. 
So what are we asserting? We are asserting the URL, right? So how do you get the URL that we've just navigated to? So it's the driver that you call, which is our um, driver. So you call driver, go, get current URL for me. So what's the current URL? So then you want to assert it. So you get in current URL. And then you comparing it. No, okay. So instead of assert true, we want to assert equals. So because we are trying to assert that both of them equals. So As you can see, it's called, it's called this, it's a expected. What am I expecting? I'm expecting this URL that I know is the one I went to. And this is my actual, which is what will be given to me when I'm running the test. So that's my actual. So this is, yeah, one thing I can also do, yeah, I'll do. So is just say assert, then so then alt enter. So select the one I want to use. You want to use the J unit assert, J unit one. So um, if you click on that, then it goes to the top. So for instance, here yeah, we have your, our import here. Everything that we've been using is uh, we've been importing. So now I want to put that also at that point. Alt enter. Then I want to use assert the unit assert. So that. So that is the. So that's from even from the test ng to the j unit and everything. So okay. So that is that today. I'm going to say. Okay, like I said, I, I'm not sure it's going to run, but I will go through it again just to be sure that everyone understands. So, first thing I said, navigate to BBC. So, for us to navigate, I will have done this last week. So, uh, okay, just a quick summary. I will go through again the last minute of the video. So. First thing we want to do, we want to try to find our element using different approach. So different approaches that we can use. So now we've started by creating this BBC um, scenario, this BBC web page. The first thing we want to do, navigate to BBC, click on home, and also we want to type a text in the, in the search box. We then after that, we want to click on the search button and also then confirm that the page is displayed and also close the browser. So that's what we want to do. So the first thing that we've done is creating our step definition. So the first one is the navigate to BBC. So we set our properties as we've done before. And so and then we also in, instantiate our um, Firefox driver. We navigate to bbc.co.uk, finish. That's that. Then the next one is we click on home. Uh, uh, like I said, I said our errand boy is our driver. So we tell our driver to go and find an element on that particular page that we just opened. So, and it's going to ask us, how am I going to find it? We're going to reply. Please find it by link text, and you can ask us again which link text are we talking about. Uh, you can you can just say its own page, and then it's going to ask us. Okay, I'll find it for you. But what that can I do? So you can just say okay, click on it. So that is your story here. So the same way also, 
uh, we've done this, we now go to the next step definition, which is I want to type a text in that particular box. So first thing I said here, yeah, also as we begin to start to uh, see different ways that we can actually find elements, we we now try to use ID in this particular case. So we went to the text, which is uh, this particular text box, and we right click on it. So we right click and we inspect. So it brings this. So uh, we saw that it's got an ID. We copy that ID, and that is the ID that we used to find that element. And I said this step is not required. We just use it to, to test to, for the training because this step is only clicking in the but there's no arm in just clicking on it anyway. But okay, we now said normally what you want to do at this level is to type inside our text box. So uh, we want to say, okay, what's up? what are people talking about? Communal. Uh, even we, it's, it's not late to believe that it's the communal anyway. So we now went to search and we saw from that particular uh, text um, element that it's got name also. And the name is Q. So that means we can also search this particular, find this element by its name. So in this approach, we try to find the element by name, and the name is Q, and that. And then after that, because we are not clicking, we are typing, we use this send keys to type. So send keys, and it's going to ask us what do you want to send. You want to send is communal. So if you want to change it to, oh, it's no longer communal, so it just will no longer communal. So, because I know some people don't believe, so that's fine. So then you put that, or oh, it's already home if you oh, want to. So I know that's what some people, we are already home. So, okay. So then it's going to search, and then after that, after searching, what do you want? Uh, because this, this is not even searching, because this is going to type that text box. So for instance, this was what was going to happen. It said, oh, we uh, already own. Okay, that's what you, you are you will type, but it's not going to do, you, you want to click on that, even there's a su suggestion anyway, but what you're talking about is that you want to click on that, so that's the next step, to say click on that particular um, button, the search button, click on that search button, so and that is what that is doing. So we go to the search button, we inspect the elements also. So this search, not this again, because when you are doing your manual testing, because this has now moved into this particular new button. So we inspect the elements. And when we inspect the element, we find out also that this element hasn't got an ID as you go, even it's not a link text, it's not, so, and fortunate for us, we found that it's got a class, so we use the class, okay? So we could as well use the S path, you just need to right click and then copy S path, or we could use the CSS selector, let's try that now. So I've just copied the CSS selector, so I can also do similar thing like that and say driver dot find element by 
CSX selector. So then paste it and that is that dot click. So that's another way to write this if I don't want to write like that. So this is using CSS selector. So it's an interview question. They will ask you that uh, how many methods you know to find elements. So you can actually say now, I, I know about ID, I know about name, I know about link test, I know about CSS selectors, I know about SPAF. So for the other ones, if you just put by and you put dot, it lists everything for you. Link test, ID, class name, CSS selector, uh, yeah, name, partial link text. We have talked about this next week, partial link test. Why do you need to use partial link test? Name tag or tag name rather, then S path. So I think those are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight in total. So yeah. So that is that. So and let's see what we can do. So then. So that's what we've done today. So let's try to run it. So. Any question before we call it a night? That's any question? So Firefox is opened, BBC is opened. So we already home is typed. So and he failed. Good. But he already typed something, maybe he was not able to find that. So you can see that but I did fail. But also it didn't actually close our browser. I'll tell you why it didn't close it. Then next week we like I told you, I said this was not the best approach to put it here. Because what happened, your test fails here, actually. So because it fails there, this particular step was not executed. That's why your browser is still opened. So there's a better way to do that. So, but we're going to do that next week. But a good thing is that we're able to click on the home. We're able to type something in the search box. And also, we're able to click possibly click on the search. So, but maybe this is not come. Let's see what the error is. So, and click on the search button. So that's where the issue is. Click on the search button. So, and it said could not be scroll into view. So that search button was not scroll into view. So we're going to see what that problem is. I know that might be because this is now kind of generated automatically. So maybe this is not yet visible. So we're going to see why that is the issue. So next week. So we fix it from next week. So since there's no any questions, so we just call it the night. Ah, thank you, my man. <laughs>